Good day. Quick video demonstration using SPSS instructions booklet. Uh, inst the instructions there to do uh, a data analysis with one categorical, one measurement variable. I'm going to use the uh, survey responses that uh, you collected earlier uh, to first analyze one categorical variable produce output. Sorry, not analyze. All we're doing is the calculation section or the computations. Numerical visual, then measurement variable, numerical visual. Okay, so let's start right now. I have the title page right here. And I look, I'm doing, so we, you have to get to know the title page. One variable scenarios, two variable scenarios. We're going to be focusing on one variable scenarios today. And so let's start with, oh, let's start with measurement. I said I'd start with categorical. Let's start with measurement just because we're going to go in order. All right. So the first is a one measurement variable. You'll have to figure out whether you have a measurement variable or not. Um, we're going to explore numerically, summary statistics, and so on. All the instructions are on page five. So we scroll down to page five. And here we have the instructions. And... To the left, you have the SPSS data set, which you can see as well. And we see we have data view and variable view. So you enter data individually. I put all those data sets together in I collected. You're going to be doing the analysis later in the semester. And we see we have born Canada, born in Canada as a categorical variable. Yes, no. So we'll look at that one. And then a happiness score as a measurement variable and number of siblings as another measurement variable. We know that because they don't have categories. So that's a good hint for that. And then how is the data collected online or personal? Okay. And um, then we go to data view and we can see the same kind of thing. So we see here just twos and ones. So that's a indi good indication that we have a categorical variable because there's only two categories. The same thing on the right. And then the middle two variables, happiness score and number of siblings, are measurement. You can also look here to see the change from the code to the values, the actual values that they represent. All right. Without further ado, we're going to look for a measurement variable. So we're going to use the happiness score. Um, and the question was, how happy are you? And in the data enter, data view window, we're going to choose, go through these steps. Analyze. Descriptive statistics frequency. So we have the data view. Oh, it doesn't really matter actually, data view or variable view. We go to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. That ended up over here. So we have the frequencies dialog box, which popped up over another screen. So I brought it over here. And the variable we're interested in, how happy are you as a score, right? So the happiness score. So we move that. So the next instruction. Um, the frequencies dialog box opens. That's a frequencies dialog box. Click on the desired variable, highlight it, move it over. So you can move it over like that way, double click or click that arrow here. Then because we're in a measurement variable, we don't want frequencies. We want statistics. So we'll choose the statistics that we want. And again, that popped up on the right there. So we'll bring it back over here. Mean, median, mode. Uh, if you want quartiles, sure. That'll give you quartiles that are, that are used for the box plot or you don't have to produce those minimum maximum standard deviation sure range all right okay so we'll continue unclick display frequencies make sure the display frequencies box is not checked because you don't want to get a whole bunch of junk click okay and now the output window opens so if you don't see this right away you go down here to uh, the SPSS icons and you'll see all the windows that you have open. So we have a few, those are a few of your individual scores that I was adding later. Um, now we have the full data set and the output. So we see that the mean happiness score was seven. Mean median was roughly seven, which is great. That shows that the respondents were a little more happy than unhappy. Uh, standard deviation of two and so on ranges. So the minimum was one. So we actually had some people respond that they were unhappy, which is possible in these times. Okay, so we went through those steps. You can re-watch those yourself. Now let's go through the visuals. So all the visuals start with graphs, legacy dialogues. Graphs, legacy dialogues. 
graphs legacy dialogs. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do first. And I find that the easiest because it's more automated for our purposes. So we have histogram. Again, it popped up over here. And we're looking at how happy are you. We're moving that to the variable. So again, that's all here. Click ver histogram in the histogram dialog bo box, move the desired variable to the variable area. So we move that over here. Okay, you can move it over here, but that's not gonna be very useful. Okay, that's telling SPSS to do something else, which we're not focusing on right now. Click okay, and wait 30 seconds or so. And there's our histogram. Now, because the values are discrete, we're getting these, the bars are, are separate from each other. And so we see the distribution of happiness. So we see a few people answered one, we see quite a few people over a hundred. So we have 1000 data points. So again, that was, ex that was expected with roughly 50 of you contributing 20 each. Um, and so we have the highest point, the mode is around eight. And we saw the mean is around 6.95, the median was seven. Okay, so let's produce, now let's go to a histogram. So, so we did a histogram, sorry, do a box plot. So in the box plot, it's a little more complex, so we have to follow the instructions a little more closely um, because you need to do one more thing. We have the dialog box open, okay. Uh, so we've generated the box plot dialog box. Then we go simple summaries for separate variables and click on this define. Simple or clustered? Nope, simple. Summaries for separate variables? Yes. Not summaries for groups of cases? Click on define. Click on define. Okay, now we've got another dialog box called the define simple box plot summaries for separate variables. Okay, so you see you got the right one. Measure how happy are you to boxes represent. And we'll see, leave the rest blank. There's another way to get um, the box plot, but we're, we're gonna focus on this one. And we click okay and give it 30 seconds and we have a box plot. This case processing set summary is not something that's really important for our purposes. And so we see we have outliers, or the, the people below three are considered outliers and we see a pretty symmetrical box plot. Uh, just very quickly, if you wanna invert it to the side, you double click there, and there is a, where is it here? Uh, I think this is it. So this is in an inversion transpose coordinate system, and then you click somewhere out here, and this closes off, and now the box plot is horizontal. Okay, so that's a little extra for you. And now we close off the output again, and we're going to create a dot plot. Uh, dot plot, again, very straightforward. Graphs, legacy dialogs. And we see scatter and dot plot. We choose the simple dot, so we can choose any of these. We're focusing on the simple dot. And click define, and there it goes. We have to throw the variable in. How happy are you? We throw it in here, and off we go. All right, it looks very much like the, the histogram because we have discrete data. Okay, next, categorical. So we go back to the title page and we look for one variable categorical, explore numerically frequency tables. So this is what we wanna produce. And then visually we want bar and pie charts. That's all on page seven. So we scroll down to page seven so create a frequency table, we're gonna focus on born in Canada. So we'll see what percentage of the people that you spoke to are born in Canada. So again, we go to creating a simple, uh, creating, first we said numerical. So uh, correct, so display labels, so that's what we're at. So we're, we're not displaying the codes, we're displaying the labels. Um, uh, I don't know if this you need to do that for this uh, version of SPSS, but for the older ones you did. Um, choose analyze descriptive, so same thing, you're going into the same descriptive statistics, same one, except this time 
the only thing you want is display frequencies. Now, because we did this before, we have to get this variable out because we used it recently in the same data set. And then we just change it with where you're born in Canada, put that into the. Now we don't want any statistics, so we'll unclick those. So that's something that is not in the instructions booklet. So we're assuming you're starting every data set cold. All right, so that's out of there. Display frequencies. That's all we want is the frequency table. And we see yes and no. So we have 53.7 of respondents were not born in Canada. 46.3 were. Interesting results. That does not represent you guys are not your friend. You and your friends and family are not representative of the Canadian population. Um, although Toronto, possibly. Okay, now let's create a simple pie chart. So we go to graphs, legacy dialogues, pie chart. Now here we have to read the instructions carefully. So we have the pie chart dialog box, summaries for groups of cases. Summaries for groups of cases, make sure that one's checked, click define. And where is it gonna go? Here we go. And we're gonna do, were, uh, were you born in Canada? So define pie, summaries of groups of cases, dialog box, that's the one we got. Move the desired variable to the define slices by, define slices by, there you go. So even though it says variable here, define slices by is the one you want. So intuitive, it's not. Um, slices represent, do you want them to present number of cases or percent of cases, right? So you can represent slices for either one. So let's go for percent, click OK, and da da da. -dum. So we got the pie chart. Next we go to the bar graph, creating a frequency bar graph while creating a table. Uh, so it goes through steps one to three above. So same thing, graphs, legacy dialogues, bar chart, summaries for groups of cases, define and where you're born in Canada, that's the category. And we're gonna get a very boring bar chart. Okay, which shows you over 60%, over 50% said no, under 50% said yes. And that's it. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.